So in this video we're going to go back to research methods <coughs> and look at experiments or a particular part of um, an experiment and that's experimental design. Um, now experimental design is all about how you use your participants within a study and I am going to draw attention to this, it is experimental design so this doesn't apply to anything other than an experiment. So observations, questionnaires, interviews, anything like that should never refer to an experimental design. So these are the key words that become very important in um, this particular video. So a reminder that the control group is a group of participants for which the IV doesn't change. The experimental group is the group of participants for which the IV does change. And the control and experimental conditions are the tasks or the situation which those particular groups undergo. Now it's basically how you create your control group and how you create your experimental group that is the fundamentals behind experimental design. And there are three ways that you can use your participants. The first one is called a repeated measures design. And this very simply, is when you use the same group of people in your control group and your experimental group. So your control group would be one group of people, you'd get them to do a particular task, and then once they've done that task, you might give them a short break, and then you ask them to do a different task. That would be a repeated measures design. The second type of design is an independent groups design. And this is when you use two different types of people or two different groups in your control and your experimental conditions. So your control group would do a particular task. And then for your experimental group, you would use a completely different set of people. The third type of design is called a matched pairs design. Now this is similar to an independent groups design in that you're using two different groups of people. But you try and make it as similar to a repeated measures design as possible because you match those individuals on variables which you think matter. So for example, in your study if you think IQ matters and you know you've got somebody in your control group with an IQ of 103, then you would try and make sure in your experimental group you also had somebody with an IQ of 103. So here we have our control group and then our experimental group who are the same but different. So you can have a look at the pre-reading to get a bit more information about experimental design. But before you come into the lesson, make sure you can do the following. Firstly, explain the difference between the three types of experimental design. Secondly, have a look back through the experiments we've already covered. So mostly in memory, but some within um, the approaches as well. And decide whether they're using independent groups, repeated measures, or a matched pairs design. And thirdly, can you think of any situations where a repeated measures design would be impossible to use? <laughs> 